right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, joining you from an uncharacteristically rainy San Diego today. And I'm delighted to welcome Mary Jane Mapes, who is in Kalamazoo, Michigan. How are you doing, Mary Jane? I'm doing great. It looks like it's <laughs> going to be raining here, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a bit more unusual for us. Uh, but uh, hey, listen, I've learned by now that if you complain about the weather in San Diego, you get zero sympathy from people in the rest of the world. So. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> So um, Mary Jane's an award-winning communication and leadership expert, and she works with uh, mastermind groups, among other things. And that's what we wanted to talk about today is you have this program called the Ignite Platinum Program, which is which you describe it as a combination between mastermind coaching and education. So can you could you do two things? Could you obviously tell us what that program is? And also for those People may understand coaching and education, but not everybody understands what a mastermind group is. Yes, I'd, I'd love to. Um, this program is really a year-long program, and it right. truly is for people who want to, I call it, an ascend. So whether they be a corporate person who's looking to ascend to the highest rank, mm -hmm. you know, the highest levels, whether it be a, an entrepreneur or a small business leader who's just looking to move to that next level, and it involves, as, as you mentioned, uh, the coaching, which is one-on-one. -on -one. I just say it brings together the very best of personal growth and business development. The one-on-one -on -one coaching, customized one-on-one steps throughout the year. The mastermind is that group think you have all those minds coming together to work on your goals. And the virtual online workshops and the live events are a way for people to physically come together mm -hmm. as they also learn from experts under the umbrella of what I call executive presence. How you act, confidence, competence, um, emotional intelligence, how you uh, communicate, whether in meetings, in front of a group, uh, um, in, uh, I've already said in front of a meeting, one-on-one, mm -hmm. uh, -on -one, interpersonally, and how you actually appear along with Everything under that title, <laughs> probably not everything, but all, many things under that title of, of um, business etiquette. So Excellent. it covers the aspects of executive presence, leadership development, entrepreneur, small business person, corporate. So here's an interesting uh, thing, Mary Jane. This, this is something that always kind of fascinates me is that we, we often, we will invest uh, a lot of time and money in our hobbies, right? We'll get mm -hmm. coaches, we'll join clubs, whatever, and we'll do it, yeah, and we'll make long commitments to that. Right. But when it comes to our professional life, the thing that puts money and bread on the table, right? We, you know, people sort of go, oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea, but uh, um, they're reluctant to invest the time and energy into something like a mastermind group. So... Why should they do that? And, and how can you get people over that hump of sort of saying, maybe you should invest a little more time and effort in the thing that actually makes you money as opposed to the thing that's fun, but probably not going to earn you anything. Right. I think people do. I think they spend a lot of time and energy wasting it or trying to do it on their own. Do a little mm -hmm. here, do a little there, do a little this, read this book, that book, and nothing seems to change year to year. But when you get together with a mastermind, and I think it was Napoleon Hill who first coined that term, mastermind, mm -hmm. um, where he, I think he also referred to it as an alliance. And it's nothing more, of course, than that group of people that come together to achieve a common goal. And the common goal is accomplishing your goal and your goal and your goal. Right. In other words, the individual goals. So... Um, small business people, I think oftentimes it's true for entrepreneurs, they don't have those uh, colleagues or they mm -hmm. don't have that full staff. And so this way you get the best, the experience, the knowledge, the skill of all of these people working collectively on your goal to help you grow your business exponentially. And I, it's, it's priceless. And why, I don't know <laughs> if it's small thinking or what, but... Um, people, I always say, have got to recognize that really to get where you want to go, you need more than just yourself. And um, it's proven think, true for me over and over. Yeah, I think it's. I think sometimes people suffer from this uh, issue where they think, 
Well, if I'm if I'm going to have any kind of training or professional development or in a group, well, that's something that the company ought and should do for me. And the company comes to me and says, oh, look, this is available to you. But yet at the end of the day, nobody cares about your career as much as you do or should. So why wouldn't you in, in why wouldn't you invest in yourself? Um, and I and that's a great point. I think you raised sometimes in a in a business in any organization, small or large. But sometimes you can very much feel like you're on your own, right? There's nobody who's right. going through the same thing as you. So being part of a group is obviously a good idea. But let me ask you. Uh, so how do you help people overcome? Maybe they are a little bit nervous or intimidated, saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to join a group, and these people are all high achievers and all doing great things." And, I don't feel like I, I really match up with them. So I'm, I probably won't go because I'm too intimidated. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, first of all, maybe they don't match up in every mm -hmm. single area, but that's the beauty of the mastermind. I always yeah. say to people when they are questioning that, I say, think about it. Even if you were an identical twin, you'd have different fingerprints. And mm -hmm. even if you had the same fingerprints as your identical twin, you would have a different in-room experience. So your experiences are different. Your knowledge base is different. Your experiences are different. Your perspective is different. Your talents are different. Your skills are different. Where you come from, somebody might be 40, Somebody else, somebody else might be seeing all of that. And it's not about, I'm not competing. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. We're not competing in any way. We're cooperating and working together to help you achieve your goals. And the more I work hard to connect you with the right people, the right resources, the right knowledge, the greater the chance that you are going to be open to me. And of course, that is the mastermind, is you're going to be open to helping me. And collectively, we're going to help each other move our businesses forward. Yeah. yeah, no, I love, I love that idea. And I think that's a great thing for people to bear in mind is that uh, we, have, we all have, we all have skills, we all have things we bring to the table, and then we all have gaps and things where we could learn from other people. And it's like a big jigsaw puzzle, bringing it all together exactly. and people helping out. So you've been doing this for a while, right? And maybe for those... <laughs> Quite a while, yes. Quite a while, yeah. Over 30 uh, years, so a long time. Exactly. So uh, for, those of, for those viewing and listening uh, who may, uh, may be considering this for the first time and they go, okay, well, it sounds interesting, all that. Tell me about some of the breakthrough thinking or what you have witnessed in groups that, uh, that people should be aware of and, and understand what, what's possible through an, uh, through an engagement like this. Okay. I wish we had lots of time because I could give you <laughs> lots of examples, but these are just some quick mindset shifts that I've seen and or I've experienced myself over the years. And I would like to give you, if you don't mind, just one quick example. Yeah. Um, but here, here are some specific things. I've seen people come into this and, you know, it's very difficult to see yourself. Yes. And I think oftentimes people come with an imposter syndrome. I mean, they live with it. You know, if people mm -hmm. only knew I wasn't yeah. what they thought yeah. I was. Well, in this situation, we've got all these people listening, working with you, you working with them. They see you in a way that maybe you don't see yourself. So you get to see yourself as other people see you. And that can be powerful, not just your blind spots, but strengths you wouldn't think of. And sort of a light bulb comes on. I've seen people have a shift in terms of um, putting together products and services that they would never have considered, or maybe with customer groups, they may never have considered but now with this input and help and new perspectives, they see where they can grow their business that they'd never even considered. And I've also seen this, and that's where people have literally scaled their business two, three, 10 times by putting together what they already have, but in a way that they had never considered uh, before. So those are the, those, those mm. are three big, what I see, yeah. and and yeah. and before you, before you go on to the uh, the other example, sure. I just want to underline that first one, especially you know the imposter syndrome, because I think that's yeah. huge. I think that holds back people from so much, uh, and 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 you're right. I mean, it's great to get into a group where suddenly you you know you see yourself as other people see you. You uh, you uncover strengths maybe you didn't have because I think if that's one thing, it's it's that imposter syndrome really really holds people back from achieving their full potential. 
It does. I, I just met with someone this morning that has been um, elevated to the VP level in this very large corporation. And this person said to me, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this because, well, I know I can, but I don't know. I don't see myself working at that level. And I said, well, clearly you're like 40 years old. They see it. I'm going to share with you what I see that I am guessing they see. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I finished sharing that, we like to, this person was smiling and saying, well, I guess they do. So, yeah. yeah. yeah and, um, I, and I always, yeah. I always tell people that when, when I first, uh, in my first ever executive level job, when I became a VP for the first time, I had that where I was like, whoa, I want this, but I'm a little bit scared. So I, I actually went out, hired a coach on the side. Nobody knew about it. I did. And I had a, and I had a coach. And what was interesting about that was the coach didn't just coach me to help me be a VP, but she really helped me figure out what it is I really wanted to do. And I said, well, I kind of, you know, I like being a VP, but I'd love to be the CEO one day. And, and so, you know, she helped me down. Eventually, you know, I did with CEO of a couple of companies, but just shows you like, I just hired, I hired the coach for one thing just to help me because I was, again, like the person you're saying, right. like, I was like, I want this and I'm now on the senior team and like, ah, what do I do? Hired the coach and the coach actually helped me go way beyond what I initially hired her for. Yes, uh, that, that is a perfect example. Can I give you this kind of segues into yeah. what I wanted the example I wanted to share. I had, a, I had a person that came to me. This person was the CEO of a very uh, large organization. That's all I'll say. And they said to me, now not, it's not a Fortune 500 mm -hmm, uh, sure. company, but it was a very large organization and said, I should be making a lot more money than I'm making. And I said, why aren't you? And this person said, well, because the board just evidently doesn't feel I'm deserving of it. And I said, well, you know, I've looked at the, what they've given every year. I can see the scores you've received and these scores are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Have you asked? Well, yes, I have, but I just sensed that maybe this person had not. And I right. said, are you deserving of this? And they said, absolutely. I said, can you put it on paper? Absolutely. Can you write it out for me? Yes. I said, do that. The, in the first year alone, they had saved this organization over $500,000. I said, mm -hmm. that's significant. You've been at this job now for, what, seven years. So anyway, um, when I said, are you worth it? Yes. I, then I, we talked and I said, here's what I want to see you do. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase. This person said, I should be making X number of dollars, at least 25000 more. Well, in this meeting that this person had, they not only got the raise, they got a 40,000, not a $25,000, they got a $40,000 raise plus a bonus on top of that. Because when they really looked at what this person was doing, what they'd done, the money they either saved or made the organization, they said, we need to hire three of you in order to do what you're doing. <laughs> it was not a problem. And here all this time, this person had been sitting around thinking, feeling kind of victimized, which is crazy because yeah. they were already. <laughs> yeah. So well, I mean, it's, 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 it is amazing how we do that to ourselves. You know, how we second, there's a statistic um, uh, from, I think, psychology today that like 67% of our daily self-talk is negative, right? So we're very, very good at, at beating ourselves up and we're very good at diminishing. And I think sometimes we just don't set aside that time to look at and go actually hang on I'm, I am pretty good I have all these achievements you know we're we're always right. focused on oh I'm not maybe this gap here or this gap there and that's why I presume getting involved in a program like yours is really going to help to people to focus on the positive and accentuate the strengths and really understand their value and their worth absolutely and and the beauty is people don't have to walk it alone and I think mm. sometimes they feel I have to walk it alone. In a corporate setting, sometimes I think they feel that um, the corporation often feels like we've got all the people we need. We've got the coaches we need. We've got this they need. What they don't have is an outside perspective. What yeah. they don't have is all that internal or what they do have rather is the internal politics. So whether you're in a corporate setting or you're out there trying to do it on your own or your small business doing it on your own, you can have somebody that walks with you step by step by step that can have a program that is totally customized to you through a variety of um, assessments that are top notch 
through the help of someone, in this case, me, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> who has been helping people. I could write a book and someday I might on all Good. the things that people have been able to do just when they've had someone walk beside them and help them help themselves to move forward. Plus, in this program I'm offering, um, it all, I also am bringing together a raft of experts in specific mm. areas where if they had to go out and hire those people one-on-one, -on -one, it, it would be cost prohibitive. Right. So I, it's they get to learn, they get to mastermind, they get to move themselves and their business. And to me, those two really go hand in hand in glove. Um, forward yeah, and with the help and support of so many others. Yeah, and then probably the one of the one of the greatest things that people I can imagine experience in in this in, in scenario is that suddenly they realize that they're helping other people and they're contributing to the success of the people at the table, and that's got to be great from a yeah. from an, est, an esteem and uh, you know an esteem and awareness point of view. Mm, I, I was watching someone on television the other day, and they were spending three hundred million dollars of their own money or something. We're not talking about $300 million, but $300 mm -hmm. million dollars of their own money to take like straws, plastic straws, and uh, recycle them in a way that they would be degradable. Right. And, so, and the person at, interviewing them said, why would you take $300 million <laughs> of your own money? Why are you doing this? And they said, because number one, I think it's my responsibility. But number two, it feels good. I am actually helping do something productive. And I think most people out there want their life to be meaningful. Yeah. They want to yes. make a difference. They want to contribute. And when I contribute to you, you can't, it's old hat to say it, but it's true. I can't contribute to your life. I can't contribute to anybody else's life without ultimately contributing to my own. Yeah, and it's the yeah. best feeling in the whole world. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's a fantastic uh, point to, to end this fascinating conversation. But before we go, Mary Jane, can you tell people a little bit more about you and how they can find out about more about what you do in your programs? Yes, and this, this whole mastermind thing, and my whole website's being turned over right now, so they're not going to see that on it. But if they went to Mary Jane Mapes, M-A-P-E-S, that's P as in Peter, M-A-P-E-S dot com is one of my websites. Or they can call me directly if they'd like at 800 851 227 Zero eight five one two two seven zero. I'd be happy to talk with them about it. And in fact, I'd love to. <laughs> and, and all I of thank them. you for having me today. No, absolutely. It's been fantastic. And all of Mary Jane's information will obviously be available from her profile on, on Sales Pop as well. Listen, Mary Jane, this has been great. And maybe you come back again and we can talk about some more stories and breakthrough thinking that you can achieve with this. Because I do think it I do think it is really important. And I would really, really encourage people to look at your own professional development and and think about that if you're not going to invest in yourself who is come on right yeah oh i'd love to i would love to i wrote a book a couple of years ago there were some uh these are top top leaders and one of the things they said is nurture those things invest in those things that are all about you yeah and your career really is all about you Exactly. Perfect. Listen, Mary Jane, thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for joining. My name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. See you all for another expert interview really soon. Thank you. Thank you.